My first guest tonight won the Golden Globe for The Disaster Artist, a great movie about the worst movie ever made. Please welcome James Franco. Welcome back. Thanks, brother. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. I, I didn't, I, when I heard that you were going to make this movie, I knew what the room was. I didn't know what to think. <laughs> uh, did anybody know what to think when you proposed doing this movie? Uh, well, I, I read the book first, and the, the story behind the movie is incredible. So if you knew that... You'd mm -hmm. see what I saw, but no, the producer still said, a bold choice to remake essentially parts of the worst movie ever made and showing us how it got. It was a bold choice. Yeah. I mean, that did appeal to me. I mean, Seth Rogen, the producer, did say almost every day, "I can't believe we're making this crazy thing." But, <laughs> but <laughs> that's a really good but, Seth Rogen. But, that's really good. Thank you. Thank you very that's much. That's really good. Had some practice. Now, uh, I, anyways, congratulations on on the Golden Globe. Well deserved. Thank you. The thing, I wrote you that I, I've seen it several times now, and I actually wrote you after the second time I saw it to say what I love about it is that, yeah, it's one of the worst movies ever made. You know, the, the room, room. The room. The room. One of the worst <laughs> ever made. But what I love about it is like it's a valentine to what is essentially beautiful about the need to create and to have your work validated, to be seen and known. Yeah, I mean, essentially what I saw is what you're talking about where. Yes, it's bold to make a movie about a, a bad thing at the center. But underneath that, it's the same story as any artist, you know? He has the... Tommy Wiseau had the passion of everyone, you know? He had the same feelings, the same dreams that, mm -hmm. that we had, you know? And it's just that it, the filter it kind of came out through, was, you know, made it weird. But right. the story that we wanted to tell was the story of his passion. Well, that, when he gets up at the premiere and he says, my movie is my life, you know? No, 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 no. no. What did he say? <laughs> What's he say? This is my movie, this is my life. Be cool. <laughs> That's the heart of it. This is my movie, this is my life. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And, and in a weird happened. way, The Disaster Artist is my yeah. movie, my life, because... Like I said, it's my... I had the same dreams. We had the same heroes. James Dean, uh, you know... Well, you won but a I Golden Globe... played James you, Dean. You won a Golden Globe for playing yes. James Dean. Yes. And then you won a Golden Globe for playing a guy who wanted to be James That's Dean. That's right. That's right. You should stop now. This is As it. Tommy That's full kept circle. Saying, uh, after... I brought him up on stage, and then after that, all that night, he kept saying, a destiny, James, a destiny. <laughs> well, when, when you won, you did, you, did, you did invite him up on stage, and then you, uh, you, uh, you just checked him into the boards when he tried to go for the mic. You absolutely just dropped, a, like, an atomic elbow on him. It was very I've good. Been, uh, why why okay. and okay. what? Look, you don't get much time up there, okay? I feel, I I feel bad for Tommy. I was going to give him the mic, okay? okay. If I had extra time. It's just that they told me, like, 40 seconds. Sure. And I knew I was not going to get everyone out. I didn't get, I didn't get to thank the writers, Newsteader and Weber. I didn't get to thank a lot of people. I knew I had to thank my, my brother. Of you course. Know, I, that was I love one of the most beautiful parts. Yeah. Parts so, I love that. I'm sorry, Tommy. I, had to, I just had to thank my brother. Well, he told the, he told the Los Angeles Times what he would have said. I know what he would have said. It. He kept telling me all yeah, the yeah, yeah. Would you? Would you? Would you feel comfortable? I know what he was going to say. Would you be say. comfortable in saying what he wanted to say as Tommy? If a lot, this is what. So this is what everyone missed. If a lot of people love each other, the world be better place. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> By the way, I'm a big fan of your uh, brother uh, Dave. Oh, as he's well, best. he's fantastic. Now, yeah. you're a uh, is Dave. Dave, would you mind coming out here for a second? For a second? <laughs> so nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Of course. Have a seat. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Did you? Uh oh. What is going on? Did your mom have, dress you? I Why are you wearing the same? I being out here. <laughs> you're wearing the same suits. Is he? Is one of you the stunt double of the other? I can't. <laughs> Figure out which it is. 
<laughs> we have the same stylus. I don't know why they did it. I stole his stylus. Who stole stylus. whose stylus? Yeah. You stole his stylus. Yeah. Now, I'm you're the younger father. brother. Yes. By how much? Seven years. Seven. Wow, that's significant. Yeah. That you need to moisturize. Now, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, obviously, you've got all the plaudits. You've won the awards. But how does it feel when you look, when you look at yourself in the mirror at night to know that your brother's performance in uh, 21 Jump Street yes. is funnier than anything you will ever do. <laughs> Truly, truly a masterful performance. It's what drives yeah, right. me. It's what drives me. Right? How can I yeah? beat that 21 Jump Street? Do you ever say I'm coming for you? <laughs> no, I'm shocked you even know who I am. I don't know why I'm on the show right now. Yeah, I'm like, you made my year, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, listen, we got to talk. You got to go. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Dave Franco, everybody. <laughs> I love him. Me too. He's fantastic. I love that part. That gets me right here. Now, you did this thing. Hold on one second. I dropped it. You did this thing that was kind of nice, is that you took all the nominees for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor out to dinner, or most of them out to dinner. Uh, was this the night before? The night before. The night before. What, did, you, did you guys, like, place bets on who was going to win? <laughs> no. no, it was the, the point of it was the opposite of that. Oh, no, you were psyching them out. This was... No! Just locking eyes with Carell. No! Going, just going shark Look, eye on when I was when I was nominated for an Oscar... For oh, 127 hold on. Hours. The, <laughs> when I was nominated for an Oscar. Nice opening to a sentence. Okay. okay. Anyway. <laughs> that year was the year of the King's Speech, and everybody, you know, rightfully was talking about Colin Firth. And, I, and, it, and I didn't realize... What were you nominated for? <laughs> 127 Hours. Oh, yeah. That's, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sorry. Don't... I, said, I just said that. I really follow okay, his career okay. more than yours. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's, I thought it wouldn't disturb me, you know, like, okay, you know, just let it go or whatever. But you don't care, right? Yes, but to show that I didn't care, they asked me to host the Oscars, and I, oh. I hosted to show that I didn't care because eight hosts in the history of the Oscars had hosted the night they were nominated, and of all those eight, only one in the history of the Oscars has hosted and won, uh, David Niven. And so I thought this will be a way to show that I don't care. You'll we're actively in fact, curse yourself. Where in fact, yes, I'm showing how much I cared because, like, to go and take that crazy thing on when I never even wanted to do that shows that, in fact, I cared a lot. So I just wanted to take the curse off it and the pressure off it. The guys were so excited. It was like, yes, you know. It, well, I mean, uh, Hank Tom said, Hanks, Hank says uh, yeah. they should do it every year now. Yeah, call it a Franco. That's what he said. That's quite an honor. That's quite <laughs> it an, was honor. an honor. And what Tom Hanks says goes right into the Constitution. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.